Hi guys, so in a lot of these last tutorials I've been throwing a lot of theory at you along with methodologies to create games but I haven't shown you too many examples of actually you know games to be made or the games that were made rather so what I want to show you here is just an example of one thing that I did in Unity with a few fellow students of, uh, of mine at NGI with a few fellow students at NGI so you can see the main character here with the gun and the boss And then we come back to the star screen again. This is just an example of like a real world that you're getting done. Now, that was actually the last time I heard you guys heard it. I just want to show you guys that Unity can be used to make games. You know, this, this may not be the greatest example of a game, but it's a game of a And it's a game that works, functions, has a beginning and end, a storyline, a plot line, you know, design dock board and all that. So, Unity can be used to make working games and, you know, professional quality games, not just like that, but, you know, make it as complicated or as simple of a game as you want here. So, basically, let's take it through a few things. Uh, the sprite change the legs. Remember, uh, in one of the, I covered uh, animations in a few of the past tutorials. Uh, basically, that's, that's really how, how that's done. You know, um... You know, jumping and stuff. That's all. This is all color. Well, jumping is a key press of the space bar, right? So I showed you how to do that in code in a past tutorial, right? You just think, you just do get key uh, if input dot key code uh, get key key code dot space, right? And now we have this gun that rotates, which we wrote a script. Uh, Nick, my friend Nick wrote a script for Nick Jump, right? So this is how you just put together all of your artwork. And, uh, and code to actually make a game. See, we have lighting. Just, just a, you know, a plethora of things here that come together to make an experience. It may not be the best experience, but it's an experience. For the and that's, you know, so that's that's just a practical application of Unity for a class. Uh, these are uploading. What else do I want to talk to you guys about? So there's a site called Congregate. If you're looking to be a professional uh, game designer or even just a hobbyist, this is a great site to register for. It's completely free. And as you can see, they have some of the top hottest new games. See, it's, it's really hard to get four stars. These are actually like, some of them may even be professional indie games because that's that's pretty solid to get three and a half, four stars, four and a half. That's pretty crazy with, with this site. Uh, but yeah, you would basically put your projects up here. You'd register for your own account and then you'd be able to go to a place that said My Games. And your games would feature your games. So these are three games that I made. Lobotomizer made with a team of five NGIT students for the IT265 class. Game architecture and design. Area 51 is an 8-bit mod of the Unity uh, 2D platformer space shooter tutorial. And it wasn't working before, but I actually want to see if it works now. Because I, I think I just have a lot going on in my browser right now. So this may or may not work. But if it does, I'd be more than happy to share this with you. It's a really good idea when you're first starting out, or when you're in a class and you really don't have time. You know, if your professor agrees to it or if he assigns you this, is make a mod of a game. If you're an artist, well, swap out all the art and show that you create a new game experience from existing game just by changing up the art and the sound effects. You know, if you're a programmer, well, then change up the code. You know, work on, if you're an animator, work on some animations. Use, you know, Smooth Moves or, uh, what's that other one, Puppet 2D. You know, there's some great rigging and animation programs for 2D that actually are, it's it's pretty intense, and they're pretty great plugins for Unity. Uh, I think that's about all I have for you guys at this point, uh, but I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.